Emma Kelly, Antrim, Division 4 this year. How much are you looking forward to the National League and how are Antrim fixed? Doing pretty well. We've brought in a new management team. Seamus has come in with Sean and uh, Sinead McLaughlin, who was captain last year, has come in as part of the management team this year. A lot of new players on board, a lot of young players on board, so it's a wee bit of excitement. Of course, we're all pushing for our starting 15, so a wee bit nervy at the same time. But we'll see. We're, we're hoping to at least get to the semis and then take it from there. You're going to have to give me surnames and a bit more detail of those managers now, to be fair, they've come in. Oh, Seamus McKenna and Sean McKenna. Um, they've both taken the underage with myself over the past couple of years. Seamus had a stint with Antrim maybe five years ago. Um, and then I think they won the all Ireland maybe the year after that or something around that lens. But he did have a stint with them. I didn't play with them that stage, so I don't know, played against them. Um, but no, he's, he's in, he's brought new kind of enthusiasm about it. He's bringing the underage through because he knows them now. And with it getting developed, we've got a trust now with the girls. So everybody's on board, everybody's buying into it, and the training's good, and that's the way you want it. So. And there's a lot of potential in Andrew, you know that. Yeah, potential's flying out of them. The minors stepping out. We've brought some in now just to give them a wee bit of experience at senior level, but we've already eyed up maybe eight, nine, ten minors from next year to step straight in. And again, we're counted maybe at least 20 of the girls are all under 25, majority of them under 22. So if we get them on board now, then hopefully they'll stick it out and future's bright. Can you name me a few of them and maybe their clubs? I'm presuming St Paul's is pretty strong there. Saoirse Tennyson, she normally would have been through in nets for St Paul's and that, but she's been playing midfield the last year and a half or so for St Paul's. She's in the squad now, full of energy, black and is amazing. You have, of course, Claire Timoney still there, a wee bit of experience. Um, Hannah Doherty just won the College All-Stars there, amazing player. She's a soccer dog as well, obviously, um, but just her, her skill, her kicking, everything's just there, top-class player. Um, of course, then you can name the other St Paul's girls, Anya Tuberty and um, Nicole Kelly and that. But again, there's Granny McLaughlin from the Navy, outstanding talent, never played county before. She maybe played minor for one year, under 16 for one year, first year in at senior level. And just seeing her high fielding, her speed and stuff, it's just it's just exciting to see coming through. Like. So Tough first game though, away to Wicklow. Yeah, well, I've, I've been trying to explain what happened last year with Wicklow and stuff. I think it was a game of maybe four or five different seasons the one time and with snow, with the sun, with the rain. I think it ended up being a close game with one point in it, but I think we made it hard for ourselves as well. Um, but again, new season, new year, you can't really go. They could have new players in, they could have lost players the same as ourselves, so we can only just go out and try and go in the day and what's happening, but... Again, it's not all about the first game, it's about the, the four or five games and as long as we end up in the top four at the end of the, the final league, that's that's all we're worried about, reaching the semis. What do you think of the new sponsor coming in and being serious? I think it's brilliant. Tesco's were there the last couple of years and I think they have stepped up to the plate. But now Little stepped in and you can see they're in every corner of the shop up around Belfast and stuff at the minute now. So there's no reason why they can't be there. and promoting the name for themselves, especially across Ireland and everywhere else. So it's good for the ladies' game and hopefully it keeps building on.